Hello friends, welcome to my new video. I had taken a short break of around 2 months or uh, 2 months 10 days like that due to many reasons but I haven't quit YouTube. I am back with another uh, brilliant series called as the Insane Problem series. Hope you will all enjoy this. Uh, in this series I have taken especially mathematics. I will be doing physics and chemistry also but in different series. But this Insane Problem series is uh, especially for mathematics. In this I want to explain the beauty of uh, maths in uh, many different problems which you will seriously enjoy watching them. Uh, you will probably enjoy as much as you watch a movie and you enjoy that. Because uh, we will all together dive into the mathematics into the, I wouldn't say completely depth of mathematics but you will surely get an idea of uh, how beautiful mathematics is, how let's say romantic also, you will seriously fall in love with mathematics with this series. So on that note, I would like to say that uh, uh, this make this video reach many uh, people as much as possible and uh, I hope to get a positive response. Thanks a lot. Let's begin the video. Hello everyone. Welcome to this new video of Insane Problem series. So let's read the question. It says find the sum of all positive integers x such that for some positive integers y, xy plus x minus y equal to 100. Now how do we proceed? See these type of questions may not come in JE or BITSAT or uh, NEET or whatever exams uh, uh, all of you write. But these type of questions will surely help you to improve your thinking ability, uh, the capacity of uh, going beyond and out of the box that will be certainly improved. So uh, please see this question till end and how to solve this and uh, I am sure uh, you will be developing interest in solving such kind of questions. So let's begin. Uh, let's understand the question, find the sum of all positive integers x. That is here, we can see x over here, we just need to find the values and add all of them which satisfy this. And the condition, the only condition is that y is a positive integer. And, and this equation is given such that both of them satisfy that. Now how do we begin? Now what I do is, I will write the same equation in another form but I will subtract one on both sides or I will send one of them over here. So uh, if I do minus 1 here, I need to do minus 1 here, I get xy plus x minus y minus 1 equal to 99, right? Now, uh, we can take x common, you can see, right? x into y plus 1 minus, we will take minus common into y plus 1 equal to 99. <coughs> now let's again factorize, this can be equal to x minus 1 into y plus 1 equal to 99 I'm sure you all got uh, to know how we uh, came to this part now uh, we know that x and y both are positive integers because x positive integers x positive integer y so x minus 1 is also an integer y plus 1 is also an integer we all know that now um, multiplication of two integers is giving us 99 so let's find out what are the divisors of 99 divisors of 99 let's see so we can begin with 1 next 3 will be there and uh, 6 9 will be there obviously 11 will be there and uh, next will be 33 into 3 33 should be there and the next one will be 99 so these are the uh, divisors of 99 now, I can equate <coughs> any one of them, that is, let's take x minus 1 because we need uh, sum of positive integers x. So, I can equate x minus 1 equal to 1 comma 3 comma 9 comma 11 comma 33 comma 99. If x minus 1 is equal to all these values, then uh, x has to be 2 comma 4, I, I, I need to add 1 for everything, 10, 12, 34 and 100 all you need to do is add all of them right uh, in the comment section please tell me what you uh, get answers after doing this now itself now comment and then watch the video later for the continuation well I hope you did that <coughs> what we did here is absolutely wrong that is what I wanted to tell now why is it wrong let's check the only problem uh, I don't have any problem with these values but I have a little problem with this 
if I equate x minus 1 is equal to 99 then obviously I have uh, 99 see I am equating it to 99 so it, it should satisfy this equation because x minus 1 is 99 into y plus 1 is equal to 99 now 99 and 99 get cancelled it is y plus 1 equal to 1 which means y is equal to 0 what is the problem with this the problem is that it should be a positive integer y 0 is not a positive integer and hence x minus 1 is not equal to 99 so what you are supposed to do is discard this value discard 99 now the answer will be x minus 1 equal to 1 3 9 11 33 so x equal to 2 4 10 12 and 34 all you need to do now is add all of them so you get 30 40 50 52 56 58 and 62 hence sum of all values is 62 which is our correct answer so thanks a lot for watching this video thank you